we all want thicker fuller healthier hair in this video i'm going to show you how you can get such long hair using only one ingredient so remember everyone is talking about rosemary rosemary for hair growth so you have alopecia you're having damaged hair you have thin hair this video is for you let me show you the simplest and fastest way you can prepare rosemary hair treatment hello everyone welcome and welcome back to lean and beauty if this is your first time you are very welcome to our channel and please i'll be super excited if you go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below don't forget to press the notification bell icon so that you're always the first person to know every single time we post our videos and if you're a returning subscriber oh my god thank you so much for checking on us now like i already mentioned i'm only going to use one ingredient to make this hair treatment this is the rosemary hair treatment it's the rosemary tea so what you're seeing i'm trying to prepare the rosemary cut it into smaller pieces so that i can easily wash it remove all the germs the dirt on it and the bacteria so guys this treatment will be a game changer for you there are different ways you can make the rosemary tea and this is so different i know i have a lot of videos on how you can make rosemary tea or any rosemary treatment maybe have rosemary treatment we have videos on how you can make rosemary tea and also rosemary hair oil please check them out because they are different methods and this one is the simplest hair treatment you can ever make so what i'm doing i'm trying to clean the rosemary Please, you need to watch this video to the end so that you're able to see how best you can do this and how you can apply it to your hair. So I'm going to dry the rosemary. So I'll use this towel to dry it up. You can use paper towels, but a towel will be much better and because it's thicker. And I'll get a pot, add water to this pot. Then after I'm going to get the rosemary and add it to this pot. So you can measure the water that you think will be enough for you so then i'll light my stove and then put it on the stove then let it boil for just a few minutes i'll use 15 minutes for this treatment i'll let it boil on low heat for 15 minutes only i'll go ahead and check on the rosemary tea as you can see it's really boiling which is really good so you remember you have to boil this for only 15 minutes and on low heat please go to the comment section and let us know whether you've tried out rosemary teas or you've tried out any rosemary treatment maybe a rosemary hair oil rosemary is a natural remedy with data to support its role in decreasing hair loss and in promoting hair and scalp health according to dr batra not only can it boost hair growth but it also keeps your scalp healthy and as we already say healthy hair starts with a healthy scalp it increases the growth of hair by 50 percent when massaged on the scalp or sprayed on the scalp it works by stimulating scalp circulation and can be used to grow hair longer prevents baldness and stimulates new hair growth in balding areas so you need this after the 15 minutes i'll turn off the flames and let the tea cool so this treatment will help with hydrating your scalp and hair and a hydrated scalp means that your scalp will be less itchy and flaky hence promoting hair growth so guys this is our rosemary tea after cooling so it has cooled and this is how it looks so i'll get it ready like i'll try to make sure that i sieve out the the rosemary from the tea wow look at this look at how beautiful this tea looks like the rosemary tea or rosemary hair treatment guys 
so i'll get it and then you know transfer it to the spray bottle so that we can get into spraying it on our scalp and hair So guys, this treatment will help speed up the process of cell turnover and growth, which can work as a natural remedy to grow thicker hair. You need thicker hair? This is what you need, guys. It's very simple and easy to make. It doesn't consume too much time. So guys, let's get into the application process. Hey there! So guys this is my hair so you can apply the rosemary treatment to braided hair these are cornrows and I'm preparing to undo my cornrows so what I did I first apply the rosemary treatment to my scalp and hair just apply it directly to your scalp and that's mainly what you need to do and then massage your scalp and make sure that the whole all the hair strands have received the have received the hair treatment guys i hope you're enjoying this video please don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel if you haven't done that already and leave a comment letting us know where you're watching us from we'll be super excited to know where our viewers are watching us from Please, massaging your scalp promotes blood circulation and that will enable the treatment to penetrate all over your head and in every part. Remember for me, I have cornrows, so I really need to make sure that I massage my scalp thoroughly well so that every hair strand benefits. So what I did, I also applied rosemary hair oil. This rosemary hair oil, I also made it and I have a video on how you can make rosemary hair oil from home. Please check it out. I'll leave the links in the description box below. Try it, it out. It's very amazing. So I after went in uh, by locking in moisture with a rosemary oil. So this is part of my unbraided hair and this is how you can apply it to also unbraided hair just apply it to your hair strands your scalp and that's mainly what you need to do guys it's very simple and basic so guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to give us a like subscribe to our channel if you've not yet subscribed already and also leave a comment in the comment section please I'm so happy that I was able to share this. I hope that we're able to meet in the next video. We always post our videos on Tuesday. Thank you so much and bye-bye.